I will do a 10 pound budget for this week and will try to be in that um, savings mode. So, you ready? Let's go. Hmm, I know what you're thinking. Limited budget and groceries, they seem to be a challenging and difficult idea. And if you look at it, it's not also a good combo. But it's totally okay, and it's also alright. Let's not be frozen by the thought, or chicken out, or be fishy about it. Have a tender and fresh mind like your meat. Choose as well what's naturally sweet and put greens on your list. Be at peace with your plan. So go grab what you need, pick your eats, then place them in your cart. And you can do this. Just remember, when choosing your groceries, choose them wisely. Simple. This is me just getting serious with buying groceries. So see, we made it within our budget. Pat on the back. It is always nice to play some music when cooking. So here we go. Time to cook.
It's also always make sure that you eat healthy and delicious because these difficult times require good food. And of course, dessert, 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 dessert. What's up you guys? I'm actually in my sister's room right now. I'm making the end video of a vlog that I've been trying to finish and post for maybe almost two weeks. So we will wrap this video up and very, very quick. So um, the topic that I will be talking about today, five saving tips that you have to remember when you are in the UK or maybe anywhere else in the world. So this is applicable to all of us who are in our own country or outside our country. So since I am a nurse and I'm letting you know that I am a nurse by profession, um, we will use a systematic, <clears throat> sorry, a systematic approach or um, yeah, problem sol solving approach that we usually use when we help our patients uh, in the hospital. So since I think that saving is actually a big of a struggle to all of us, then um, using this method will be of a big help and a big um, tips, tip tips for you. So um, it's called API. That's what we call it. A P I E. So that's the abbreviation. So the first one is A for assessment, P for planning, I for in um, implementation, and E for evaluation. So um, for assessment, guys, it is very important that if you want to save, you have to assess your situation. So how much you're going to save, um, what are you saving for, what is your purpose, who are you saving for? And of course, the answer should be you and the rest will follow if it's your family or for someone else. Um, when are you going to start? And I believe that you should start now. And where is here in your own house? You start by maybe cutting some of your expenses, maybe limiting your groceries or limiting your expenditures, your want expenditures and focus more on the needs so um, that's how assessment are checking the situation gauging your capability on how much you can save and how consistent you can with that goal so the second one will be planning of course if you already have that idea inside your mind you should start um, creating steps on how you can achieve it and that's planning so um, like uh, setting up a budget for a week or um, knowing how much you should how much percentage would go to savings emergency funds your wants and your needs your daily expenses so making a budget plan so planning budget plan those two are equal equal <laughs> All right, so the third one would be implementation. That's just like turning your engine on because you already put up gasoline and go to that destination of yours. So putting all your plans into mobilization. So uh, the trick with implementation is you can hit, go hit and miss. So sometimes you can um, succeed in just one go. Sometimes it takes you few errors here and there um, to actually um, go where you're comfortable at so you don't have to worry too much because all of us make mistakes the most important thing is you are able to um, get up check where you fail or not really fail check where you have to improve and move forward again yeah and lastly last but not least is evaluation so you always have to routinely check how you're doing 
even if you become successful, even if you're in the middle way or you're just starting over again, you always have to check your goals and how you're going to achieve it. That's the most important. And mm, I'm supposed to give you five, but um, that's what we say, uh, evaluation. I think the fifth would be re-evaluation. So you can always interject it anywhere. Assessment, evaluate. Assessment planning, then evaluate. It's like the, the song that goes, uh, if you believe that all the work is done, so just go back and start at the one. <laughs> Whenever I believe my work is done, so I'll start back at one. That's it, guys. I hope I give you good tips out there. And kindly don't forget to follow my um, YouTube channel, Jam Louise Vlogs. And uh, I also have a Facebook page now. You can visit Jam Louise pages. And you can also leave your comment below if you have any suggestions or if you would like to give me some ideas about how you are saving on your own. And um, don't forget to like and then subscribe and at the same time share it on all your social media accounts you're free to do so okay so till next time i wish you all the best bye